I don't want to jinx it, but uh, I feel like I just fucking crushed the mothership open mic. I got on. Yeah. Yeah. Still, uh, still in shock. Here it is. Led that bitch off. I'm a little bit more gathered. Uh, just walked out of the mothership about five minutes ago. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was fucking, that was, uh, that was it, man. That felt good. Not gonna get my hopes up. Um, not gonna be delusional, already more delusional than I am, but, uh, yeah, that felt good. Here's a wild, wild thing that happened. Um, uh, a guy and his wife that I worked at the prison with were front row of the show. They saw me before the mic, uh, and said something to me. Obviously they said my name and I went and talked to him and yeah, um, they were front row of the show. Life is, life is fucking weird sometimes. Oh, that happens. Uh, yeah, I'm speechless. And the after show, watch a dude smoke crack right in front of my car. Shout out to Robert Sidney Wallace. This is dope. This is Austin, Texas, baby. What's up, Twitter world? It's White OJ. Breaking news. As you saw, I got on the mothership. It was incredible. I tried to record something when I got home last night. I'm on my porch right now. You know I got my iced coffee. Uh, yeah, you get... Well, first of all, you sign up at 5.30. It's a random poll. Um, and then at 6.15, they come out with the list. So I'm walking back to the mothership, and the lines for Kill Tony and the open mic are both full. And I hear someone say my name. I hear someone go, Austin, Austin Ingalls. And I look over, and it's two people, Ben and Ashley Jurger. Uh, that I worked at the prison in Kiwani with and they were going to the open mic and were first in line So I said to him well, I signed up for the mic. So hopefully I get on that'd be sick if you guys could see me You know, uh, what are the odds of that such a small world? Uh, usually doesn't work in my favor like that, but yeah, I was first on the list. I uh, I got picked and then you check in. Let me let this truck pass by. Jesus. We hear you, bud. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, then they put the list out at 615. And I was still talking to them when the list came out. So... My roommate and Tyler both call me like seconds apart. So I'm like, okay, I got on the fucking list. I was number one on the list. So then you check in at 6.30. Or yeah, you check in at 6.30 and then go into Mitzi's. And there, from there, you just chill in Mitzi's bar. And it's a sick little, sick little vibe. You obviously saw that in the beginning. Um... And then, yeah, you get three minutes. They tell you not to go over. Um, so I definitely didn't go over. I did 235, I think, right on the dot. Uh, I could have did another joke, but my last two jokes, both, you know, were great, I thought. I, my whole set was amazing, honestly. It was, it was a fever dream. Uh, you go into Little Boy... And I think the capacity is 130 or 150. There was probably five to ten seats open, so it wasn't, you know, sold out by any means. But, um, yeah, you go in to Little Boy, and it's uh, everything a comic could dream about, man. It's a perfect, it's a perfect room. 
what can you say? Uh, the, the room's not very big. The ceiling is low. Um, the ceilings are low. Everyone's in there ready to laugh. Yeah, I was nervous as shit. Um, honestly, I haven't drank in six, six months, almost six months. It, actually, yeah, six months or whatever. So, uh, and I thought like, man, a shot right now would really help. But I went up there and after the first joke hit, um, it's like, you know, it's like a machine. If, if you get on stage every night and do this properly and practice uh, moments like this, you just go into, it's just muscle memory. So yeah, once that happened um, for the next fucking two and a half minutes, that crowd was mine. Uh, they liked my riffs. I even riffed. Um, Adam Egget, the booker, was in the back of the room. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard anything back, obviously. I would be fucking bragging about that. But yeah, um, they make you leave immediately after your set. Like you get off the stage and they're like, all right, go out the door and then you're gone. And yeah, as you can see from earlier, I was buzzing folks. I was hyped. <sighs> yeah. I mean, to put it into layman's terms, if you will, uh, I've gotten eaten alive by bugs here. Absolutely eaten alive. Um, to put it into layman's terms, it's it's like, you know, crushing in front of your entire company at a business call or meeting or whatever that you've been preparing for for years. And I'm probably overhyping the experience, but hey, one of the reasons I moved to Texas was to get into the mothership and week three, the start of week three that was accomplished. Uh, I feel like, like almost a weird weight has been lifted now that I've gotten that out of the way and done well and known that I can kill in that room. Cause then I went to, I wasn't going to sign up for kill Tony this week, but you know, they ask you while you're in the mothership if you want to, so you get to skip the fucking line. So yeah, I signed up and regretted it immediately as soon as I got over to Poor Choices and uh, the adrenaline from the set wore off and the high came down. But yeah, I uh, went to Shakespeare's after Kill Tony, didn't get on Kill Tony and had a great set there <clears throat> did four minutes there they do three minutes if you're doing bad four if you're doing good and i did a four minute set and uh did some different jokes got home of course couldn't sleep uh wrote a new joke that i'm hyped about really hyped about but yeah sh shout out to david collins of course always for plugging me and shouting me out i'm gonna keep uh, helping you out, buddy. Always. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I'm happy, real happy right now. I hopefully will get on Roscoe's tonight, <clears throat> their 10 minute mic, but I'll do a spot at the Narbar and then, yeah, just, uh, finish the week strong. Hopefully write a new joke or two, but it's wild out here, man. It's wild, but it's the reason I came. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Let's see. I'm going to do the reverse thing and plug dates at the end. If you made it this far, 11-22, 11-23, I'll be headlining the Jester's Lounge in Dubuque, Iowa. Um, <coughs> I'm going to try to get some stuff lined up for September too in the Midwest. Like I said, last episode or yesterday or whatever. Uh, I don't know when you're watching this, you know, why am I dating myself? But yeah, got on the mothership mic and it was beautiful. What a night. Uh, one of my favorites nights of comedy so far. I'm an Austin comic 
and I fucking love it here. I'm sitting on my porch, or I guess this is a patio. I don't know. My roommate says it's a patio, but I think it's a porch. But yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you, everybody. Next week.